different. I know a lot of people don't normally do this. A lot of people have to jump on calls to actually close clients and things like that, especially if you're charging high ticket, anything from a thousand all the way to 50,000, hundred thousand, you need to jump on a call with someone. So I currently have a high ticket offer. However, moving forward, I'm going to test this out and see how it goes. And just to actually send people a one doc, um, a one Google doc to go over the, my, my whole offer and just literally the price. And if you are um, a coach, consultant, agency owner, and you're jumping on sales calls and you're not really good at sales and you want like another, or you, you're booking so many calls with people where you can actually can't, you don't have the bandwidth where you can just send them a video and actually go ahead and just basically say, yeah, this is the, the, the offer. This is the price. Do you want to do it or not? If they say they don't, it's absolutely fine. Just make sure you're connected with them on LinkedIn, show your wins, get killer results. And I'm telling you right now, they'll come back. And once they come back, they do know the price and they'll be potentially interested in working. You don't have to jump on a call. So this is the one I've personally done. And look, you can go ahead and copy this. I don't care. I literally did this yesterday. I sent it to someone and um, they said they'll get back to me. Like I literally told them the price and stuff like they were generally interested. And I said, pay on results, offer for coaches. So in terms of pay on results, you need something to lure them in. You need like a good offer, a pay on results. Anytime someone hears a pay on results, it does interest them simply because it's like, okay, they're thinking there's a pay on results. Like once you get the results, I pay. And that's pretty much my offer too. We do have a setup fee, but um, we make our actual profit is when we get you these clients. And it's not like we don't get our clients qualified. We get them qualified calls, but we make sure they close the calls and then we take a rev share. So I know a lot of agencies, they'll just get these calls and they'll be like, yeah, 100, 200, 300, even 500 per qualified call. And then your clients are not closing and then they have a massive bill. And it's like, it's a bit, I mean, some of some clients are not really good at closing, but it's a bit unfair. So we primarily do it on the, okay, we're going to find you these leads. We're going to warm them up. We're going to get them onto your calendar and we're going to not close it for you, but we're going to consult you on how to close them and give you scripts and tell you how to, to do sales. And then once you've done that, you get the deal over the line. That's when we take our percentage. So that's where we separate ourselves from a lot of other um, agencies. So once they get this, once they, let me actually put my, my face smaller. So once they get this Google doc, I would actually tell them to watch the video. So there's a video going over, basically what I'm about to explain in this video. Um, if, so if I click this video now, let's just click it. If they're still interested to find out more, there's a link to book a call here. I essentially don't want them to book a call, but at least they've watched a video, they're happy and they just want to book a call to go over some things. So, I kind of don't mind that. That call will be more short, sharp to the point. I don't need to go over how the process works, testimonials and stuff like that. So that's, I've always got that in the back end just in case they still want some questions. Um, and that's something I'm actually going to implement too. I'm going to actually create another Google Doc and just go over some of the common questions I see people ask me just so even if I do jump on a call, they've pr we've pretty much asked, answered all the questions. So it reads the following. So if you're reading this, it's likely because my team or I have reached out to you. So I have a team of, um, I have one appointment set up, I'm managing like a couple of accounts. And so we, we send messages to people we feel like we can help on multiple accounts, which results to anything from, I mean, the other day on Monday, I literally booked 10 calls on my calendar. And to be fully transparent with you, let me actually go ahead and, and show you because I posted about it the other day on my on my profile. We hit our record day. I mean, some some agency owners are not booking calls. I mean, they're not even getting 10, 10 calls in three months. And we literally got in 10 days. And I'm not obviously saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I've got a system now that I know works. And I'm grateful because, I mean, this time, even three months ago, if someone wants to tell me, oh, Josh, you'll be booking like five calls a day. Like a bad day is like two calls for me right now. Um, uh, yeah, if someone told me that three months ago, I'd be like, what? Like, no, I'm struggling to to figure out this, get an appointment. So that part of my business is done. I know how to get people in my calendar and I really want to help um, mainly coaches. I, I help business coaches, but I really want to help other people get more calls in their calendar. But just to show you some concepts. So, um, so, so far I booked eight meetings for my agency. So that was two days ago. So that actually went up to 10 before I went to sleep. My appointment setter actually messaged me that 
Um, and then on my LinkedIn, I pretty much go throughout the breakdown. So I'm always talking about booking meetings, how to convert in the DM. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on LinkedIn, it's absolutely fine. This is my name and just consume some of my content if you want some help. Um, so yeah, that's that. <clears throat> so let's go back to this. So let me read it from the start. So if you're reading this, it's likely because my team or I have reached out to you confident that we can generate you leads for your business on a paying results basis. Before diving on what we offer, here are some case studies showing how we've helped coaches grow their business on LinkedIn. And before I even tell them what we do, I want to show them some case study just so they understand and they really feel like, okay, he's helped similar people to myself. And I know it's like case study and testimonials are fine. I jump on calls with people. They want to see case study and testimonials, which is fine. But I also tell them, remember, everyone's different. You might have a different offer. You might have a different target audience. You might have a different price. Um, so I just make make them aware that I'm more than happy to show you testimonials, but do understand that every person's different. So just to go over some case studies, Brent helps him generate 20, 28 qualified bookings in 30 days on LinkedIn. Before working with us, his outreach wasn't clear, generating on average three leads a month. After working with us, we booked him 28 meetings out of the day-to-day. -day. If, if people don't know what day-to-day, -day, it basically means out of the you know, back and forth messaging, having to book people on the calendar having to make sure they show up, having to do a full up because we actually take care of that within the agency. And then automated his booking. So we actually found a, um, a system to actually automate this whole thing. So he's just literally just waking up to calls on his calendar. Um, in terms of Anthony, so Anthony, we actually helped him book um, 43 bookings in 65 days, which is pretty, pretty good numbers. Before working with us, he was stuck in the day to day, no predictable way to book appointments after we who's at the day to day waking up to the book on his calendar so guys if you want to sell more in the dms and not just have to take a lot of sales calls you literally create a google doc like this i literally did the, the um, yesterday it took me about 30 minutes go over some more case studies testimonies which i've had here and then explain the process so you can say something like listen i'm reaching out to you you're clearly interested in working with me because you're not generating enough qualified leads for your business. So there's there's either three main things is the reason why you can't get um, people interested in, in speaking for you. Your offer is not good enough. You're not getting generating enough attention or you're not converting that attention. And so there's, there's obviously some sort of constraint there. And I tell them that on this video, just so they can sort of resonate and be like, okay, that's true. I'm probably lacking attention. Then I'll go over the detail in terms of how to get attention, how to convert and how to offer. And then I tell them about the onboarding process, you know, so phase one, you fill out a form, you have a kickoff call, we have a content call, and then we start scripting out um, the outbound messages, the LinkedIn, uh, a lead search, content creation, optimizing your profile, and then we launch a campaign, anything from seven to days. The first one to two weeks is testing. So testing is um, literally about two weeks, like I said, we test different pain points, outcomes, target audiences, call to actions and content. And then I just tell them the price here. 7k setup fee, $100 per qualified call. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty totally transparent with them. And then I go over some of the common questions I I, 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 um, I see and things like that. So um, yeah, 7,000 7, setup fee and they can start, if they actually interested, they can literally start for $250 right there and then. I just send them an invoice, we can get the onboarded and then we can split the payments up if they can't pay up, up front. So I'm fully transparent. None of this are scarcity like, I obviously want to get them an incentive to working with me, but that's pretty much it. So if you want to try this approach, I'm going to try it myself. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but this is the approach that I'm currently doing right now, just because I'm, I'm booking so many calls and I haven't found a really good sales rep yet to take the call. So I'm just going to sell in the DMs um, while I find someone. And yeah, just going to see how it goes. So that's it for the video. If you find this valuable, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.